Hello, today's story yoga time video is all about insects. Can you think about some of the insects you see around your home and when you're outside exploring? We're going to start with our story, which is called Step Gently Out. Step Gently Out by Helen Frost and photographs by Rick Leader. Step Gently Out. Step Gently Out. Be still and watch a single blade of grass. An ant climbs up to look around. A honeybee flies past. A cricket leaps and lands, then sits back and sings. A moth flies in and comes to rest with open wings. A spider spins a silken thread and steps across the air. A praying mantis looks at you. Do you know she's there? Balanced lightly on a leaf, bathed in golden light. Flashing, look, I'm over here as evening turns to night. The creatures shine with stardust. They're splashed with morning dew. In song and dance and stillness, they share the world with you. The end. So, have you been thinking about what insects you've been seeing around your home lately? Good. Uh, we are going to start by being butterflies and we're going to start in our cocoons, okay? So, we're going to come on down to our mats and we're going to come down to our backs and we're going to bring our knees right into our chest, hug them right in. So, right now, we are butterflies inside our cocoon. And we're just resting. And when you're ready to come out of your cocoon, you are going to start to unfurl your butterfly wings. Stretch them right out. So your legs should not be right up straight. They should be at an angle and you might feel your stomach muscles working to help you keep them there. So if you need to bend your knees a little bit, that's okay. So we have stretched out of our cocoon and we are ready to flap our wings and fly around. Okay, so we're going to bring, come back up to your seated position. We're going to bring the bottoms of your feet together. Okay, and you can hold your ankles or you can grab your toes and gently start to flap your butterfly wings. Nice and gentle. We don't want to go too fast. Doesn't that feel good to come out of your cocoon and flap your wings? Nice job. Two more times. Okay. Are you ready for our next insect? Have you ever seen an inchworm? Have you watched how it how it crawls? Maybe up its um, silk strand or on a branch? They're very cool. So we're gonna be inchworms. So we're gonna come flip right over. Uh, we're going to come into what's called plank position. Okay, so let's start on hands and knees. See if you can get your hands on your on the floor right underneath your shoulders. And we're going to straighten out our legs so we're back on our toes. And this is plank position. And inchworms are kind of scrunch up, don't they, and then straighten back out. So we are going to scrunch right up by pushing our bottoms right up in the air and then back out straight. So we're actually coming back to a pose called downward dog. Nice. Keep going. Two more. You are inchworms. Let's do one more. Nice job. You did great. Let's see. And 
another insect that I see around a lot, and probably you too, are bees. So you can just sit in a comfortable crisscross position. We're gonna get our wings out. And bees flap really fast, don't they? They have a lot of flowers to visit. They flap really fast and you can hear them buzzing, right? So let's see how fast you can get your wings going. Really fast, and I wanna hear you buzzing. Let me hear you. Okay, keep going fast and keep your buzzing up. <laughs> Good job. Um, how about grasshoppers? Do you see grasshoppers around? Have you ever heard grasshoppers? Grasshoppers make their sound by rubbing their legs together. So that's what we're going to do, okay? Um, I'm just going to turn at an angle so you can maybe see more clearly what I'm doing. Okay. We're going to come back, rest on your hands a little bit, and your knees are bent in front of you. We're going to take your right leg and cross it over your left leg, okay? And then you're going to raise your right arm, and you're going to twist across your body, and you're going to just reach. Nice and gentle and slow. So you are rubbing your grasshopper legs together right now. Do you feel a really good stretch? I do. Are you ready to try it on the other side? Okay, let's switch legs, okay? So left leg up, raise up your left arm and twist across your body and just a gentle, slow reach. So you can rub your grasshopper legs together. Yeah, how does that feel? Nice. Um, let's see. Oh, dragonflies. Those are one of my favorites to watch. We see all kinds of colors, blue and green, red, yellow. We even saw a yellow one the other day. That was my first time seeing a yellow dragonfly. So dragonflies, they hold their wings right out straight, don't they? So we're gonna put our wings out, our legs, okay? We're gonna put that in front of us. So we might not be able to get them right out straight. I know I can't, but I want you to spread them as far as you can, okay? And we're gonna reach a little bit for a good stretch. If you can only reach to your knees, that's okay. Maybe you can reach to your ankles, or maybe you can grab your toes. Okay, wherever you can reach, that's okay. You should be feeling a little bit of a stretch. So maybe we can imagine that we're dragonflies just resting on our cattail stalk. Yeah, we've got our wings out wide, we're resting in the sun, getting nice and warm. Good job. Are you ready for our next insect? So our next one are spiders. I bet you see lots of spiders around. We're gonna come up to our feet, but we're gonna say squat it down, okay? So what we're gonna do, make sure you're feeling nice and balanced and steady. We're gonna take our hands and reach them through and behind our feet. I'm gonna to turn to the side for a second so you can see what I'm doing, okay? Just like that, okay? And once you're in that pose and you're feeling comfortable, we're gonna to start to rock side to side. So maybe you're a spider sitting on your web and waiting for a prey to come along for your next meal. Maybe you're getting ready to jump off a branch and swing down on your, your web. Good job. All right. This next insect we're gonna try, I think is a very cool insect. I don't get to see them around here. I have seen them before, but we don't typically see them where I live. Uh, but I just think they're very, very cool. A uh, walking stick. Have you ever heard of a walking stick? Or do you get to see walking sticks? So they look actually like a little tiny branch or a stick and they stay very straight and when they walk, 
I kind of put their legs out straight. That makes me smile. I really like them. So we're going to give that a try, okay? Uh, it can be a little bit tricky, so I'll show you a variation you can do, but we're going to come back to that plank pose. So your hands on the mat. If you spread your fingers wide, sometimes that helps you. Hands right underneath your shoulders. Legs straighten out so you're on your toes. And sometimes it helps too if you spread your feet a little bit wider. That just helps you stay steady. Now we're going to start to walk. So reach your arm wide out straight. If that feels really hard for you, you can bring your knees down and that's perfectly fine. Just stretch those front legs out, way out in front of you. Nice and slow, just like a walking stick. I'm going to go back up on my toes for a few more. Can we do three more? Here we go. One, two, three. Just bring your knees down. Good job. That's a hard one, isn't it? So good for you, though. Um, so our last one, we're going to try one more. This is a bit easier one. Uh, this is our beetle pose. So have you ever seen a beetle and it gets flipped over on its back and it's wiggling all its legs trying to get flipped back over? That's what we're going to do, okay? So we're going to come on down to our backs. Nice job. And we're going to put our beetle legs up in the air. Your legs shouldn't be straight. They should be bent a little bit. Arms up. And wiggle, wiggle, wiggle your beetle legs like you're trying to get yourself flipped over. You don't have to go too fast. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And whew, I think we need a little bit of a rest. So we're going to spread our legs out to the side. Grab your ankles. If you can, you can grab your feet. Uh, and we're just going to rest on our little beetle backs. Let's take some deep breaths, okay? Right in through our nose. And out through your mouth. And again. And let's do one more big breath. Good job. Let's roll over to our sides and sit right up. Thank you so much for doing some insect yoga with me. I had so much fun. Maybe you can think about the insects that you see around your home and watch how they move and what they do. And maybe you can come up with some poses to try to act like those insects. Thank you so much. I had so much fun and I hope to see you again. Bye-bye.